Hey guys, it's Claire here. Now, one thing that you guys have been asking me so much over on Instagram is for an updated tour of how I'm using Notion. I share snippets of my Notion dashboard over on Instagram from time to time, and people always are asking for more in-depth uh, instructions and information on how I'm using it. At the moment, I'm using Notion so much for my life, my business, my health and fitness, my recipe planning, my virtual assistant hub, like everything. I basically run my entire life out of Notion. So I'm going to jump into the computer and we're going to have a little look around. And if you want to have some more information on any of the pages that I share about today, just comment below and let me know which ones are the most interesting to you. And I can make some more in-depth videos on those aspects for you as well. So let's jump into the computer. Let's take a look around and I'll show you how I'm running my entire life using Notion at the moment. Okay, so here we are inside Notion and I've got quite a bit to show you. So down the side here, you can see that I've got all my different sort of pages and I'll go through each of them briefly. I'll try not to spend too much time on each one because otherwise this video will become really long, but I will uh, go into more depth if you guys are interested. So please just let me know. The more feedback you give me on the video, the more I'll know what you are interested in seeing more about. So this is the central hub, but actually before we do this one, I might just come back to quick capture because that's actually quite an interesting page. I've just cleared my quick capture for, it was just a few days ago that I cleared it. So it's pretty empty at the moment, but my quick capture is basically if I am on the web, so let's say I was browsing something, this is my website, but let's say I was browsing a website and I came across, you know, a blog post or a article or something that I wanted to either reference later or, uh, you know, wanted to just put to the side because I was busy doing something else. I didn't want to get trapped into reading it right there. And then I might put it into my quick capture system. And to do that, what I've done is actually download the Notion Saver Web Clipper, which you can just get from the, um, this is a Chrome extension, so you can get it from the Chrome extension area. I'm not sure if they've got it for other browsers, but if you're on Chrome, then that's um, what you can do. And what I can do is I've set up these little um, sort of quick save to Notion templates here, which are really easy to set up once you download the clipper. And I can actually just save my page, whatever I'm looking at into my quick capture system. So I also have, and then I can tag it to with to do or a content idea or whatever it might be, and then add new page. And what you'll see is when you come over to the quick capture in a second, it will, oh, maybe I didn't finish completing that. Did I, I'm still saving. So once it's finished saving, we'll see it jump in to to the quick capture as you can see here and it pulls in the link for me and it pulls in those tags that I just gave it and it pulls in the title as well and I could have changed that if I wanted to when I was entering that so I find that a really easy way to just not get distracted while I'm doing other work and just quickly pop stuff in or if I have an idea or a to do or whatever it might be so that's my quick capture area and that's at the very top and once a week as part of my Sunday planning I try and clear my quick capture area and I file those into the right places and um, those sorts of things. If you want some more information, because you'll see, uh, we'll have noticed that there was some other quick capture stuff here with this clip art. Let me know if you want another video on a bit more detail on that and what all these other ones are. Uh, but that's the basic overview just with the quick capture and how I'm using that web clipper. But I have other ways that I use the web clipper, web clipper as well. That's a bit of a tongue twister, web clipper as well. All right, so that's quick capture. Let's go down to central hub. This is my main hub. So um, this is where most of the stuff in my sort of day happens. And normally I have this toggled open and I'm sort of towards the end of my day. So normally when I start my day, this is pretty full of daily non-negotiable stuff that I need to get done and other tasks that I need to get done. But because I've cleared all of that out already, they are, this is already looking pretty good. At the moment, I'm making this YouTube video, as you can see here. Uh, I can clear that because I have already done that. My short course webinar is going across a couple of days, so that's gonna sit there for the minute. So that's totally fine. And then I'll be also um, scheduling this as a blog post. And so I've got a little task there to um, activate that as well. I've got some other, um, different timelines and views and other things. I'm working on a new course at the moment. So I've pulled in a view here for all the tasks that I'm working on in the upcoming week for that course. I try not to overwhelm myself. So I just have a filter on for this that is um, just filtering this into the tasks that are coming up in the coming week that haven't yet been completed. If you are brand new to Notion, some of this will be going straight over your head. Uh, but let me know if there's anything here that you would like some more detail on, but this is the, um, this is the way that I'm using it. So these tasks for today, are pulled actually from my master task list. So this is my full task list down here. 
and it's got a timeline of like every task. As you can see, this is like all my non-negotiables for tomorrow already sitting there and all the tasks that I've got coming up over the next sort of coming period. So everything that I wanna remember goes in my master task list and then this view up here is pulled as a view filtered by all the tasks that are due today or before today. So any time up until today that haven't been completed yet. So that is how I filter that. So it's really just a different view, a different iteration of the same master task list just pulled in as tasks for today. Here I've got a snapshot from my calendar, which is quite big when I've got this um, open like this, but this is my ideal week calendar. So I've got another video on my channel here talking about my ideal day and my ideal week calendar planning system. This is how I like to try and run my life in an ideal, um, in a, if the day was ideal. So I sort of have that sitting there just to reference if I would like to, that's just an image that I've pulled in. And then I've got my daily core priorities. These are just a little reminder of like what I'm trying to work towards in life and you know, the sorts of key goals that I have for myself. So I don't always have that open, but um, I definitely always have my tasks for today open. Here I've got a um, duplicated version of something that we're gonna to come to in my content hub. So this is just a copied um, version of that so that these two sync so that you can see you've got that little like orange bounding box there. So anything I update in here will automatically update in the other iteration of that that I've got over in my content hub that we're coming to shortly. Uh, so that's that and I'll talk to you when we get to that. I've got a this week's plan. So this again is pulled from my uh, master task list down here, but it's a different iteration again. So this is my projects for this week and that's determined by what kind of uh, task it is. So I've got different types of tasks. I've got one-time tasks, I've got recurring tasks. So these are all my one-time tasks. And I've got my, again, my task for this week for the course that I'm making. So this one doesn't always sit here. This is just here for the moment while I'm making that new course that I'm trying to deliver um, in the coming couple of months. This is my reviews from last week. So I um, do a quick review of how the week went. Next one down is my monthly projects and goals. This again is pulled from my goals and planning, which we'll come to shortly. So I won't spend too much time on that now and we will come to that shortly. Um, personal commitments, these are just something that I've put together a number of, uh, probably a year ago or something like that. And again, it's just sort of a referencing for me just in terms of, I gave it some thought about, you know, what am I actually trying to commit to with myself and my business and what I'm trying to work towards. And so they're just there to um, remind me if I'm ever wanting a little bit of like motivation to get my butt in gear, to get things back on track and why I'm doing what I'm doing and all of that sort of thing. I've got my brand values here. So these are my sort of values for my businesses and you know what we try and, or we try and work towards there in terms of the values that I have there, just as another sort of reference point. There's my full task list, which we've already talked about. I've got some personal areas here, just stuff to do with the boys and home renovation, that's what we're coming to here and health and fitness we're coming to here. So it's just different links to out to those pages, um, affirmations, goals, and those sorts of things. And then I've got this sort of area of business areas. So that's got things to do with uh, my team with my virtual assistant, which we'll come to. Um, got some company information there, some other stuff that needs to be shared. I've got a whole knowledge hub, which is my um, sort of list of uh, resources or frameworks that I might come across as I'm reading things and I might want to make a little note of them. So I've just got a little space that I keep track of that. I've got a full book library. So this is where I track my all my books that you can't quite see in this um, image anymore, but all my books that I have in uh, any status. So I've got all of my not read books, but I want to read. I've got my currently reading, I've got my read next and I've got the uh, read next, sorry. And I've got the ones that I've read, but I've also got how I own them somewhere. So this is like got all of the snapshot of the covers and all the books that I actually own either on Kindle or in real life on my bookshelf um, or in audio book as well. So um, I know what I've got and cause I was finding I was buying books more than once. So this is just a good place to keep track of things. And I also, can 
make a few notes about books as I read them if I want to or if I've got quotes or stuff that I want to keep track of I can just keep track of them in here and just sort of um, manage them all that way which I like to be able to do so that's that I've got um, just a little database of people which is the authors of those books and other people that um, I don't know what it's loading still so that's um, yeah as you can see here a list of like all the different authors and all different people that I might interact to and then I can tag those people people in my book library so just so that those two databases talk to each other and just a couple of other sort of inspiration and swipe file type things where I might come across like an ebook or a sales page and I'll do use a web clipper and copy the content of the sales page and I'll just keep that as a little swipe file if I'm ever wanting some inspiration for my own marketing material or anything like that and then just a couple of other things in my marketing folder there which are pretty obvious and because that's all taken a long time, I better move this along because otherwise this is going to be the longest uh, video in history. So that's my central hub and how I'm using it at the moment. It does change quite frequently just in terms of like what's included here and how I use it and stuff. But this task for today, that's been pretty constant. And these, as you can see, this is a relation to my goals and planning database. So it's pulling in my goals so that when I do set tasks for myself, I know that they are related to goals that I'm trying to work on and in the different areas. So I'll come to that when I get to goals and planning, but this is pulled in automatically from my goals and planning database. So the two databases are talking to each other, which is one of the great things about Notion. Very sort of, um, it can be a bit of a complex system, but once you get your head around how it all works, it's just got like so much power behind it that's um, super helpful for people who are massive productivity nerds like me. So that's my central hub. Let's look at the content hub quickly. So this content hub has lots of information. Much of it is reference material um, and just places where I can just come up with ideas when I'm creating content. So the main and important one is my full content calendar. So I just keep track of all of the content I create and post and publish and um, that's all just documented here in the full calendar and I can do all my planning and everything in this calendar. So that's the full content calendar. The content ideas is the same calendar as we were just looking at, but it's just all of my ideas. They're not the ones that are in planning yet um, and they haven't yet been scheduled to have a published date or anything like that. So um, weekly content schedule. So that's the thing that as you saw, we had that link back to in the central hub. So that's the two things that if I update something here, it'll update automatically on the other one. I've just got a whole bunch of um, resources there just in terms of the types of content I might create on my Instagrams. I've got different um, um, engagement posts so the text of just different engagement posts that I might want to put in just different things that make posting really easy I've got my lead magnet links because I've got lots of lead magnets that I like to talk about and share about so this is just a quick uh, little reference that brings me to the um, the sign up pages so I can just quickly add those in to any post or captions that I might be writing um, and that one might be interest to you guys actually so a notion template for a monthly business reset just I accidentally clicked on that but that one given you're watching a video on notion you might find interesting to download um, so that's my lead magnets and then here is my posting calendar so this is basically how much content I try and post each day and each week in my business and I do that pretty much on my own. There's not really anyone helping me with any of this, but a lot of it's um, sort of repurposing of these core pieces. So this is a core piece of content and I might break down aspects of this for Instagram posts or post it to Facebook or things like that. But I do try and just make sure I can tick off this list each day to make sure that I'm creating all the content that I want to create. So um, yeah, we've got, you know, this is pretty straightforward and I, as I said, can go into a bit more detail on that if you guys are interested. Call to action database. This I haven't started to build out too much yet, but these are just like quick different calls to actions that I can include at the end of my captions in my Instagram. And I've got that again for my two different brands. It's the same database, just with two different views here. Um, and I've got the full list as well. So this is just so that I can mix up the calls to action that I use and um, not have the same call to action every time. I write a post on Instagram. My branding, this is just a few different 
um, things about the main content pillars that I share on each of my pages. I've got a content framework, which I've talked about before. Um, I This is sort of um, taken from an idea that I got from Justin Welsh, which was really helpful in terms of just matrixing out the different main things that you talk about and then the types of posts and then you can sort of pick a you know consistency and an observation about consistency and write a post about that so it's just a really helpful way of um, just coming up with new content ideas if you're getting stuck so these are all just really ways for me to just make content creation really easy so I never run out of ideas hook examples I've got IG story ideas just a whole bunch of stuff that I've put together over the time over the years stuff to share is pulled from this web clipper so whenever I come across stuff that I might want to share on my newsletter or things like that I'll just quickly um, use the web clipper and push that to the stuff to share database and then when I'm putting together my newsletter at the end of each week or actually write two newsletters a week but I can then um, just come to my stuff to share if I don't have anything on top of mind and just sift through what I've enjoyed through the week and put that together quickly and easily so um, if you're on my newsletter that's a little behind the scenes of how I I put that together um, this is a just a little reference thing for me for that that's not that interesting Facebook ad swipe files we've got helpful frameworks and resources we've got personal branding stuff just we've got reels carrot like just all different sorts of things so as I said I can go into a bit more detail about any of this if it's of interest but they're all just mainly reference things just for never running out of ideas for content or supporting the development of content Goals and planning, I might not do too much showing you around in here just because there might be some private stuff in here, but I have an areas place first. So these are my core areas where my goals sit under. So I've got business goals, I've got creativity goals, I've got relationships and family goals, I've got financial goals, home renovation goals, mental health goals, physical health goals, and professional development goals as well. And then the goals, um, oh sorry, areas, and then the goals sit under those um, different areas. So you, these two databases talk to each other and I have different goals that relate to um, each of those areas. So for example, I'd like to get back into, I used to play the piano as a child and so I'm trying to sort of play a little bit more for sort of being a bit more creative, um, you know, build my community, create a great student experience, just things like that. And then I have all of my tasks and again this is my um, master task list again and each of the tasks as we saw back when we were looking in the central hub this is the same database with a different view. These are the goals that we were just looking at and these, this database talks to that goals database so that I always know that um, my tasks and the daily things I'm working on are linked back to the goals that I want and have set for myself because if a task doesn't have a goal linked to it, then probably I shouldn't be working on that task or I need to change my goals. So that's how that all works. I have my monthly review. So if you look on my blog, I publish um, my monthly revenue and my monthly just updates of what I learned, what went well, what didn't go well, and I do all of that in public. So if you wanna read any of these, you can in on my over on my blog, but this is um, where I sort of draft those out and keep track of them for myself. So that's my monthly review views and then I've got just other future goals and projects there as well. Online course creator, that is my online course course <laughs> that I have where I teach people how to create their own online course so that they can create you know the same sort of freedom and lifestyle and stuff that I've been able to create from my own online courses so this is where I keep track of those courses so that's online course creator business courses these are my business short courses for designers that's a different thing that's in my other brand and this is just where I keep track of some of the information and content around that we've got a home renovation hub so we are renovating our house at the moment um, I've got a renovation project master plan ready to go I'm just waiting to get my plans approved by council and then I'm going to plug in the sort of step-by-step -step of what we need to get done I also have a renovation database where again I'm using the web clipper so if I come across a product or a um, trade or a house or some pro inspiration images I might save it into this database and you can see they're all being tagged as I find things that I like so just so that I feel like I don't lose track of anything and I also can just get them out of my mind and into somewhere where I know that I have them so this is all the inspiration these are just different um, views of the same database there so just so I can search through things quickly and easily 
Okay, health and fitness. I'm not sure how much of this I'll show you because some of it's a little private. It's got some pictures of me tracking my health and fitness goals after getting back into fitness for after my brain surgery. So things are not looking great for me at the moment. So we're not going to be publicly showing those pictures. I can show you this. This is my meal planning. So this is my lunches and dinners each Friday, I come in here and I plan out our meals for the week. So I use our, my recipe database that I have built out here that you can see with lots and lots of different recipes. And what I do is just go through the recipes and I then link it to the um, lunches or dinners. So Paul and I have lunch together each day and most of many times it's leftovers you can see, but otherwise it, um, I'll plan something out. And um, so Tuesday's empty. So what I might do is, um, you know, say I want a beef and broccoli for Tuesday lunch. What I can do is it's got a relation here and I can just add in Tuesday. And then you can see it pops in up here. If I just close that back down, you can see beef and broccoli is just dropped in on Tuesday for lunch. So that's as quick and easy as meal planning is now. So it took ages to put together my recipe database and I trawled Pinterest and saved all this stuff on Instagram. And then I've spent time putting together this database. The other thing it does is that each recipe has all of the ingredients all listed out that comes from an ingredients database and it's all linked through a relation to the ingredients database. So when I'm at the shop, so this morning I did our grocery shopping and I have this on my phone, I can probably show you, that might be a little bit hard, but I have on my phone a, let me see if you can see that. Uh, hang on a sec, if I come up to here, can you see that? You can see I've got health and fitness and then if I open that on my phone, you can see it's open from when I was looking today. There's my same database and I can just go in and have a look at the recipe and the ingredients while I'm in the shop and just make sure that I am getting everything that I need for that recipe while I am in the shops. So that's like how my little system works and how my shopping works. Um, I'm I, sh I know you're all screaming at me going, why don't you do online shopping? It'll be so much easier. I know that. I just actually really don't like online shopping. It always just ends up not sending me one ingredient that I need for my dinner that night. Or I just like to go to the shop. So just don't come at me about that. So it is what it is. Um, I must get into it. Recipes and meal planning. I can go into more into that. Here's my um, ingredients list, which also, by the way, is sorted by... Uh, which store you get each ingredient from. I'm just like a massive nerd about all this stuff. So that's, um, yeah, that's that's that. Weekly workouts, that's my list of the training that I do. Um, and tracking, I'm not gonna show you, but that's where I track my um, weight and I have progress pictures and all of that sort of thing. 75 hard, I'm also not gonna show you, but I'm doing a, pro a program at the moment called 75 hard. You can just Google it if you want to, but I am tracking each day's progress on 75 hard in here as well. But again, lots of photos in there of me because you have to take a daily progress picture in your underwear. I don't wanna show you that. I might show you the end picture maybe when I get that far, but at the moment I do not wanna show the internet that. So not opening that one, but that's what that is. VA hub. Um, this is just where I share some stuff with my VA. I actually, we don't use this a lot anymore, but when we were first starting to work together, we did. Um, and I list off tasks for her to help me with, but she pretty much knows what she's doing these days because we've been working together for a long time. And yeah, just has a whole bunch of other stuff in there as well. And then here are my Notion templates. So at the moment, I've only got one free Notion template. This is a downloadable for anyone in my community. And um, if you would like it, you can download it um, that's what this one is. So you just need to go to that link. I might put it in the description and you can grab that if you would like to, but I'm planning. And if you would like some more templates, just let me know because I'm planning on potentially um, creating some others for you guys so that you can put together a bit of a system like this as well. So let me know if that's of interest and I can put some stuff together for you. Um, but that's basically my system. So yes, I hope that's helpful. It's a, that was probably a lot of information, a bit overwhelming. It is like a bit complicated to put all of this together. I have spent some time like really immersing myself in Notion. I am obsessed with it, as you can tell, because I've really taken a lot of time with it. Um, one thing that panics me a little bit about it is that if anything happened to Notion that all of my life now sits in there, but um, you know, it's a risk that you take. I think you can download stuff out of here. So that 
I could do at some point just to give myself peace of mind. But um, otherwise, yeah, it is very sort of immersive and you do end up putting a lot of your life into one piece of software, which is a little bit, you know, maybe a bit of a worry. But anyway, that is the system. Comment below if that's been helpful. Comment below if there's other areas of that that you would like to see in more detail. Also, as a favor to me, like and subscribe um, or particularly like the video because that helps it in the algorithm. But also if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely do that. I have other videos on helping you to grow an online business and just be more productive in the way that you run your business. So hopefully if that sounds of interest, then you can do that. Otherwise, I hope that's been helpful. I hope it's given you a bit of insight. And if you've got other questions on Notion, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.